Hi everyone. I went to North Carolina. I drove on Christmas Day and the sky was pretty magnificent on my way up to North Carolina. All of the ripples that you see, in case you don't know, are caused by what you see straight ahead of you, that Gwen Tower, or it can be caused by the microwave frequencies that are emitted from cell phone towers. Based on my read of comments from you guys over the years, I get that the cumulative effect of these microwave frequencies are taking a toll. I just spoke to a friend of mine, a subscriber in Houston, that lost her home due to Harvey, the flooding of Harvey. On Christmas Day, she and her husband had to put down their much-loved cat. Their cat had a seizure. I'm hearing from so many of you telling me about your pets. Your pets are ill. Your pets are jumpy. They're acting anxious. They're acting weird. They're having seizures. Or they have respiratory problems. Well, the environment that we are living in is exceedingly dangerous. So as you are watching this video, if you're not noticing the anomalies in the sky, then you are not very observant. All of the black streaks, all of the ripples in the sky, all of the weird uh, configuration of clouds, and if you see the camera going in and out of focus, that is due to microwave frequencies. Please understand this. We are water-based animals. Our bodies are antennas for these frequencies. As the frequency goes out, emitted from a cell phone tower or a Gwen tower, our bodies receive those frequencies. The frequencies enter our bodies and an electric current is generated inside our body. If that electric current does not match exactly the electric current of our bodies, it affects all electric currents running through our bodies. What else has an electric current in our body? Hormones, antibodies, neurotransmitters. If the current of the frequency emitted from the cell tower or Gwen Towers is different from your body's current. It can change the current of your hormones, of your neurotransmitters, of your antibodies. Interference with your body's electric currents may be innocuous, may be uh, harmless if it happens once or twice but continuous interference, a pulsed interference, irregular pulses, it can lead to your body's breakdown. Breakdown of your overall health. It can cause so many, so many different symptoms. Um, I will link below to a document on stopthecrime.net but these symptoms that I'll read, just some of them, it's a long, long list. But these symptoms are coming from studies. The Bioinitiative Report, which reviewed over 2,000 scientific studies on the biological effects of these microwave frequencies. Um, also, the American Academy of Environmental Medicine, the Department of Army, and NASA. Some of the symptoms, confusion, short-term memory loss, inability to focus, brain fog, sluggish thinking, difficulty concentrating, headaches, migraines, vision disruption, or eye problems, eye pain, cataracts, head or chest pressure, allergies, difficulty breathing, respiratory problems, slow reaction time, sleep disruption. It causes a reduction in our melatonin which is essential for us to sleep well and 
Melatonin is essential to have a strong immune system. Night sweats, insomnia, dizziness, disorientation, balance problems, agitation, anxiety, depression, suicide, ten tension, irritability, seizures, nausea, vomiting, flu-like symptoms, digestive difficulty, nosebleeds, hair loss, rapid aging, oxidative damage, ear pain, tinnitus, bedwetting, uh, leg cramps, stiff neck or back, shuts down the cells, cell death, DNA breakage, EMF causes mercury dental filling vapor to leak, to leak, causing organ and brain damage, psoriasis, autoimmune diseases, lupus, fibromyalgia, infertility, birth defects, behavioral problems in children, pets get jumpy, mood disorders, brain tumors, cancer, diabetes, leukemia, rhinitis, food allergies, rheumatism, bone loss, osteoporosis, dehydration, kidney damage, high blood pressure, ADHD, autism, violent behavior, so the cumulative effect, think of the cumulative effect, please. Very, very dangerous. Because all of those symptoms just get worse over time. Microwave radiation changes the permeability of the blood-brain barrier. Our brain has its own immune system. What is good for the brain? The blood-brain barrier keeps it inside. What's bad for it? The blood-brain barrier keeps it outside. So when you have these microwave frequencies pulsing at your brain, pulsing at your, your body, it breaks down the blood-brain barrier. And not only does it let the bad stuff in, like particles, nanoparticles that we are breathing from all of this, these, the, the, the chemtrail spray. This was yesterday here in South Carolina. And it was quite remarkable, all of those uh, bizarre, it almost looks like it, what the heavy metals are being lit up by the microwave frequencies in the sky. But that was all day long. Everywhere you looked, you saw these little sp hot spots, hot spots in the sky. But all of the lines, all of the spraying, nanoparticulates, nanoaluminum crossing the blood-brain barrier. It is why we have an exponential increase in Alzheimer's or dementia. So particles of a certain size may go through the blood-brain barrier. Pulsing frequencies break down the blood-brain barrier, allowing all of these particles to enter right into our brains. It's been known that leukemia, cancer clusters in neighborhoods begin to generate after the cell towers have been put up. I mean, look at this sky. How could anybody possibly believe that this is a natural sky? And how is it that we have so many adults that just never ask the question, what is going on? What is going on with our skies? All of these, the camera going in and out of focus, that is the pulsing frequency. But it's not just a pulse of frequency up in the sky. It's a pulse that is emitted 360 all over to the ground, up in the atmosphere. 
And because we are water-based animals, we literally pull these frequencies right into our own bodies, affecting every, every cell in our body. And yes, people can be asymptomatic for a long time, and eventually they cross over. And in my time, look at that. In my time on YouTube, six years, in the beginning, <laughs> people were leaving me comments saying, okay, Carol, we understand the chemtrails, but you're crazy about these microwave frequencies. Well, guess what? Some have, years later, wrote to me apology, apologies, it, because <clears throat> they were then, they crossed the line. They became symptomatic. And then they were left having to suffer the consequences. It was it truly was pretty much all day with all of these lit up areas in the sky. And then we get this rainbow, a rainbow out of nowhere. Yeah, think about microwave ovens. What do microwave ovens do? You put food in a microwave oven on a plastic or a glass plate. You turn on that microwave oven, and what is heating up? The water molecules in your food. So when it's done, you reach in, you take out the plate. The plate's not hot, but the food is because microwave radiation heats up water molecules, not just in the food, but the microwave radiation that we are now saturated in is heating up the water, our water molecules. And we can stand it for a little while without any harm, but we cannot avoid the harm when we are saturated in it 24-7, ongoing, never stopping, pulsing us all of the time. The cumulative effects are exceedingly detrimental. Non-ionizing radiation increases mo molecular vibration all of the molecules in our bodies vibrate. We don't feel it, but it's happening. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a natural sky? Really? Between all of the chemicals and the heavy metals, and then you look up and you see all of these bizarre anomalies, but then you realize all of the pulsating frequencies, you can see it, right smack in your face. All of these lines, all of these ripples, all of these, well, quite evenly spaced lines. That is caused by microwave frequencies. But it's every day. This was uh, the day before Christmas, or two days before Christmas. Why do you think insurance companies, the largest insurance companies, Lloyds of London and Swiss something, why do you think they recommended to other insurance companies do not pay, compensate on claims for any kind of harm done to cell phone, uh, from cell phones? Because they knew the harm that this was causing. They knew the harm if people actually began to submit claims, it would bankrupt the insurance industry. You know, when people experience a sudden hot flash in, in the 
rising of their body temperature or warmth on their ear when they're talking on the phone. It's like a hot spot. The microwave frequencies are working to heat up the water molecules in your body. Boom! You get it. It's a hot spot. Now, because I suffer the effects of this, it absolutely has diminished the quality of life for me. I'm reading you, your writing comments. It certainly has diminished the quality of your life. And it really angers me that we have to, we're forced now to live this because so many people refuse to act responsibly, to do the research necessary so that they could understand the dangers of this environment now that we are living in. Nothing natural about that. Nothing natural at all. But this was back to Christmas when I was driving up. How can people look at this and think, think that this is natural? That's the cell phone tower. That this is natural. I, I just, I, I am shell-shocked every single day now. Anyway, I hope you all had a good holiday. And I'll see you soon.